Well, hey, YouTube, and welcome back, my friends, once again to Jack's Tech Hut. You know, today, as you can obviously see on my screen here, and I'm sure the thumbnail and the title always gives it away, I want to do a, just a quick comparison between Kali Linux and Parrot OS. Now, both of these operating systems are created for you to actually, um, actually, I'm going to close this. Both of these operating systems are created to make it easier for you to do your penetration testing or your uh, so-called white hat hacking, or for many of you, your black hat hacking. So that's all the tools wrapped up in one operating system. And they're both created by very different people. They're both uh, widely distributed Linux distros. They're both created with a base of... Um, uh, Ubuntu Linux, so the Ubuntu Linux commands and everything work the same on both of these distributions. Now, what we wanted to talk about today, though, is the differences between these two that I've found. As you can see here, I'm running them side by side. The first thing we're going to look at is Kali Linux, which is over here on the left. And if I open up the start button or menu bar, you'll see that Kali Linux is set up extremely for penetration testing, uh, white hat hacking, or ethical hacking, um, or again, black hat hacking, whichever you're into. It's all right. But if you go down through these, it has all these applications preloaded, maybe even a <laughs> hundred or so that you'll never use. Okay. Uh, but they're there for you. If you want to try something new, you know, Kali Linux, I've been using it for several years. I teach it in a school setting. and yeah, it's it's a very nice operating system because everything is prepackaged for you and it's easy to show people how to use it. Um, so if we get on through here, like you have uh, information gathering, vulnerability uh, analysis, web application analysis, database assessments, uh, password attacks, wireless attacks. So it's set up. It's really well defined. Uh, reverse engineering, exploration uh, tools so you can. Um, have different exploits okay sniffing and spoofing all right um, post exploration tools forensics so if you want to get into some forensics and uh, do some deep dives on some computers you can do that reporting tools are nice because you have some ways of uh, creating your reports social engineering tools uh, another way to social engineer and uh, some links here to different uh, websites that you can uh, use to get started and to learn more about penetration testing or ethical hacking. So as you see in here, what I was looking this morning when I set both these up. Now, why did I set both these up? Again, I have been a Kali Linux fan for years, years. I've been using it for a long time. But I was watching another YouTuber this morning and I was looking at it and he goes, well, Kali Linux is made more for script kitties. And, uh, you know, people that are just going to run scripts and, you know, the real true hackers uh, don't use Kali Linux. Now, I'm going to debunk that because I have met a lot of people in the security industry and they swear by using Kali Linux. One thing about Kali Linux, you never use Kali Linux as your daily driver. So in other words, you know, you, you don't give up your Linux Mint or your Ubuntu Linux or any of the other distros made for desktop work. To use Kali because Kali assumes everything's running as root. All right. And that's why you don't do that. Now, let's get into Parrot OS over here on the right. Now, Parrot OS has a start menu down here in the bottom, much like Windows. If you click on that, it's going to give you a nice list again of different things. But the thing that I noticed right away about this, it's giving you things more of a desktop Linux feel, like games graphics so you can do your you know your pictures and everything obviously internet the full office suite comes with paired os it's preloaded uh, other and then here's pen testing and here's all your penetration testing tools that they're offering you right in one nice easy place again many of these tools you'll probably never use and you can see this list goes on and on and on and on right so we have a lot of different penetration testing tools here, much like Kali Linux. A lot of these also are going to be duplicate of Kali Linux because they're open source tools that you can use. 
What we also have is uh, preferences, privacy. They give you different ways to uh, set up your privacy on your uh, computer, on your box here. Programming, which is interesting because it comes with VS Codium or VS Code. PowerShell. Uh, so I thought that was that was pretty cool. It's nice if you want to write some scripts or something and you're in your operating system, you're doing your penetration testing, and maybe you want to write a script or something. It's just nice to have that around. Sound and video, that's really nice. It comes with VLC player, so it is set up to be a desktop Linux operating system. Uh, Apache server, SQL servers, SSH servers, everything's in here. You click to start it, and it just simply runs. System tools, you have all your system tools in there, universal access, all right? So, and a control center. So it gives you a control center here, much like Windows would give you, so you can operate around here. What I did find under the pull down menu on the top, applications, if you go up here, uh, they have pretty much the same stuff here, like pen testing. But they have here most used tools, and these are probably the top, I don't know how many is here, maybe the top 10, like air cracking NG, Burp Suite uh, which is here and there. Uh, Johnny, uh, Montego, which I teach the students, Montego, PowerShell, and uh, Wireshark is very important. I do teach Wireshark. But you see here, it has it broken down the same way as the Kali Linux. So my the thing I'm getting at here, so if this YouTuber, and I can't remember his name, if I find it, I'll, I'll put a link in the video but or, or in the description. The YouTuber, he's very good. He has a very large YouTube channel, much larger than this uh, new channel here starting out, uh, you know, Jack's Tech Hut. But to call Kali Linux, uh, to call it out and say it's for script kiddies, and then to say, you know, Parrot OS is so much better. It's built for the real, uh, you know, ethical hacker. I think is a stretch, right? They're both very good operating systems. I use Kali Linux to do ethical hacking and penetration testing only. All right. And I teach it only for that. I don't use it as a desktop operating system. The same with, uh, you know, but Parrot OS looks like it could be used every day as a desktop operating system. And it has the tools built in. Now, to say that, let's clarify something. I've also used on Linux Mint, which is my daily driver. I do like Linux Mint. I've used it for several years. And I, you know, I'm very familiar with it. I can load all these tools on Linux Mint and use them, you know, on top of my daily driver. So there's a lot of ways to do penetration testing. You have to come up with your own distro that you really like to use. Uh, but I would say if you're using Kali Linux, only use it for what its intended purposes are for. Parrot OS looks like you could probably run it as a daily driver, as just a, a desktop OS, and the tools just happen to be preloaded in there. Uh, I think they're very nice. I think it's laid out nicely. I mean, you know, that's why I loaded it up to have a look at it today. And I wanted to share it with all of you guys out there in YouTube. So anyway, if you like this, I would suggest both of these are running right now uh, on a virtual box. So they both have very easy installs. Kali Linux, you just select the add. It's got a pre-built uh, virtual drive where uh, Parrot OS, you have to actually do a import and import it into your virtual box, which both of those are very easy to do. Maybe I'll do a video on that one day and show you how to do an import. It's a little bit different than adding, so I might show you that. So, All right, but I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, why not? Click that subscribe button. I'll be bringing videos like this to you, uh, you know, as often as I can because I love this stuff. I like doing it. I don't mind doing the videos. It's not like it's work. Uh, it's just enjoyment for me. So thanks for watching. And remember my old, uh, you know, my old buddy? <laughs> no, uh, Steve Jobs used to always say, stay curious. And I'll see you next time here on Jack's Tech Hut. Bye for now.